Ever wondered how to make your own sushi at home? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to explore the art of sushi making right from your kitchen. Imagine the freshness of ingredients, the joy of customizing your rolls, and the cost effectiveness of homemade sushi. And don't worry, you don't need to be a sushi chef to get started. All you need is a little curiosity and a hearty appetite. So stay tuned as we dive into the wonderful world of sushi making. First things first, let's talk about the ingredients. Making sushi at home might seem like a daunting task, but the magic is all in the ingredients you use. So let's dive right in. The first and most crucial ingredient is sushi rice. This is a special type of short grain rice that becomes sticky when cooked. It's this stickiness that holds our sushi together, so no substitutes here, folks. Next up, we have nori, or seaweed sheets. These emerald green sheets not only wrap your sushi, but also add a distinctive oceanic flavor. Then comes the heart of your sushi, the fillings. Traditionally, sushi uses fresh raw fish like tuna or salmon. But if raw fish isn't your cup of tea, cooked shrimp, crab, or even roasted veggies will work perfectly fine. Just remember, the fresher your ingredients, the better your sushi will taste. Speaking of veggies, thinly sliced cucumber, avocado, and bell peppers make for great additions. They add a nice crunch and color to your sushi. Now, let's not forget the condiments. Soy sauce, wasabi, and pickled ginger are the holy trinity of sushi accompaniments. Soy sauce adds that rich umami flavor, wasabi gives a fiery kick, and pickled ginger acts as a palate cleanser, ensuring every bite of sushi is as exciting as the first. It's important to note that using fresh ingredients is key to making great sushi. It's not just about the taste, but the texture and aroma as well. Fresh ingredients give your sushi that made with love kind of feel. They're the difference between good sushi and great sushi. And there you have it, folks. That's your shopping list for homemade sushi. Remember, the quality of your ingredients will determine the quality of your sushi. It's like they say, you reap what you sow. So invest in good ingredients and your sushi will surely thank you for it. Now that we have our ingredients sorted, it's time to prepare them. Properly prepared ingredients are the secret to delicious sushi. Now let's get our hands a little dirty and start preparing our ingredients. First up, sushi rice. The art of sushi truly lies in the rice. Rinse your sushi rice under cold water until the water runs clear. This process removes the starchy powder that can make your rice clumpy. After rinsing, let's cook it. Follow the instructions on your sushi rice package, but typically it's one part rice to one and a quarter part water. Once it's cooked, let it rest for about 10 minutes to fully absorb the liquid. Then, while it's still warm, mix in a blend of rice vinegar, sugar, and a pinch of salt to give it that distinctive sushi flavor. Next, the fish. If you're using raw fish, make sure it's sushi grade for safety. Now this part requires a bit of precision. With a sharp knife, slice your fish into thin, long strips about the width of your finger. Remember, a smooth, confident cut will give you the best results. On to the veggies. Just like the fish, slice your vegetables into thin, long strips. Cucumber, avocado, and carrots are popular choices, but feel free to get creative. Now let's talk about wasabi and pickled ginger. Wasabi can add a spicy kick to your sushi, but remember, a little goes a long way. As for the pickled ginger, it's used as a palate cleanser between different types of sushi. And there you have it. We've rinsed and cooked our sushi rice, sliced our fish and vegetables to perfection, and prepared our wasabi and pickled ginger. With our ingredients ready, we move on to the fun part, rolling the sushi. Rolling sushi is an art, but don't worry, it's one you can master. Now that we've got our ingredients prepped and ready to go, it's time to roll up our sleeves and dive into the real fun, rolling the sushi. At first glance, this might seem like a daunting task, but rest assured with a bit of practice and a touch of patience, you'll be rolling sushi like a pro in no time. Start by taking a sheet of nori, that's the seaweed, and lay it shiny side down on a bamboo sushi mat. The bamboo mat is going to be your best friend in this process, helping you roll your sushi tightly and evenly. If you don't have one, no sweat. A clean kitchen towel will do in a pinch. Next, it's time to spread a layer of sushi rice onto the nori. Now, this is where things can get a little sticky, quite literally. The key is to wet your hands with a bit of water to prevent the rice from sticking to them. Then take a handful of rice and gently spread it on the nori, leaving about a half inch at the top bare. The rice layer should be thin enough that you can still see the nori underneath. Too much rice and your sushi roll will be all rice and no filling. 
Once you've spread out your rice, it's time for the fish and vegetables. Place your chosen fillings along the center of the rice. But remember, less is more here. Overstuffing your sushi roll can make it difficult to roll and may cause it to fall apart. Now comes the most exciting part, rolling the sushi. Lift the edge of the mat closest to you and fold it over the fillings, pressing down to shape the sushi into a roll. Keep rolling until you reach the end of the mat, applying pressure to make the roll firm. Then, using a sharp knife dipped in water, slice the roll into bite-sized pieces. And don't fret if your first roll isn't perfect. It's all part of the process. Plus, a little imperfection just adds to the charm of homemade sushi, don't you think? And there you have it. You've rolled your first sushi. Look at that beautifully rolled piece of art you've created. It's a testament to your patience, your precision, and your culinary prowess. But hold on, we're not quite finished. Now that we've rolled our sushi, it's time to talk about presentation. After all, we eat with our eyes first, and a beautifully presented plate of sushi can make the experience all the more enjoyable. Voila, you've just made your own sushi, but we're not done yet. The final step in sushi making is presentation and serving. This is where you get to show off your culinary skills and the beauty of your homemade sushi. Arrangement of sushi on the plate is an art form in itself. Start by placing the sushi rolls in a circular pattern on a flat plate, with the centerpiece being a small bowl of soy sauce. This not only makes the plate look appealing, but also makes it easy for your guests to reach out and grab their favorite piece. Next, let's talk about the condiments. The typical accompaniments for sushi are soy sauce, wasabi, and pickled ginger. Place a small dollop of wasabi and a pile of pickled ginger on the edge of the plate. Remember, less is more when it comes to these powerful flavors. Now, how to eat sushi in the traditional Japanese way. Pick up the sushi piece with chopsticks, lightly dip the fish side into the soy sauce, and then eat it in one bite. The pickled ginger serves as a palate cleanser, enjoyed between different types of sushi. And there you have it, a beautifully presented plate of homemade sushi, ready to be devoured. Just remember, sushi is not just about the taste, it's about the entire experience, the colors, the flavors, the textures, and of course, the presentation. Now, you're ready to enjoy your homemade sushi. Bon appetit. So, that's how you make sushi at home. Easy, right? We've taken a detailed stroll through the art of homemade sushi, from gathering the essential ingredients, preparing them just right, to the finesse of rolling your sushi and presenting it. It's an incredible journey from raw components to a visually stunning and deliciously satisfying culinary delight. Remember, the beauty of making sushi at home is that it's all up to you. You can experiment with different ingredients, try new combinations, or stick to the classics. There's no limit to the masterpieces you can create in your own kitchen with a bit of practice and a dash of creativity. So why not give it a go? Roll up your sleeves and start rolling some sushi. Dive into this exciting culinary adventure and let your taste buds guide you. Thank you for joining us on this sushi making journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more delicious recipes. Until next time, keep rolling.